there's no point at all oh, oh, oh. And dream small. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Lucy Watts, welcome to Lucy's Light this video was requested by one of my close friends, Emma Roberts, so shout out to Emma. Thank you for suggesting this video and I hope other people will find it as useful as you felt you would find it useful. So today's video is a what's in my bag video related to my disability and illness. So looking at what items I need to take with me when I go out of the house, when I go to events and meetings and social outings and so on and so forth. So what what do I need to take with me and how do we organise this so we can go out and do things? The first thing to think about is, so my TPN feed, my intravenous feed, goes in a specialist rucksack that sits on the back of my wheelchair. So that's one of the bags we take with us. That's what's in our bag, number one. That rucksack is specially designed to hold the feed bag and the pump upright in the right position so my feed can infuse whilst I'm in my wheelchair. So that is put into the rucksack on the back of my wheelchair, hung upright and then clipped around the back to hold it sturdy to my chair so that it doesn't swing and cause air bubbles to form in the um, giving set tube that connects the bag to my line. So TPN is intravenous nutrition, it's feeding directly into the bloodstream via a line directly into the heart or a large vein leading the heart and that keeps me alive day to day. Then I have my medication pouch which is a little, it's a pencil case actually that I bought on eBay, it's a little pencil case that has three compartments. One compartment is a kind of odds and ends, it's got my keys in it, loads of different um, bits of um, like lip balm, money and so on and so forth and then it's got my fentanyl patch, my spare fentanyl patches in it. The middle section has my buckle medication in it, so my buckle stem, my sublingual fentanyl, my olanzapine, it also has my ambisol in it and anything else at that moment in time that I have in there. And the front pouch has lots of headphones, uh, it's got some more money, it's got lots of odds and ends, pens, the pen for my remarkable device that you'll see in one of my bags. It's kind of a, another odds and ends pocket. So that pencil case comes everywhere with me with my medication in it, I can never be separated from that. Next comes the main medical bag. I say the main medical bag is the one that comes everywhere with us. So we have two medical bags. One is an orange bag or an orange rucksack that comes with us everywhere. And then we have a, a larger paramedic bag, which is a red bag, which stays in the car, but has more stuff in it. So we'll start with the bag that comes everywhere with us. This is an orange rucksack. If you open it up inside, it's got a large plastic bag with lots of IV supplies in it. So it's got dressing towels, flushes, medication, uh, syringes, needles, curos caps and, any, and gloves and everything else we need for my IVs while I'm out and about. We then have some um, stoma emptying supplies that go in the bag as well. So we have um, black, black bags, black sacks, we have wipes, we have gloves, and we also have air freshener in there. Another thing that goes in that orange bag is a, my remarkable device. This is a small tablet. It's not really an iPad type thing. It's a very unique device. It's like writing on paper. It doesn't do all the things that an iPad can do, but it allows me to write all my notes down. It can translate my handwriting into um, type text, I can annotate documents and so on and so forth. So that comes everywhere with me and I take notes on that while I'm in meetings and events and wherever I go I, that I might need it, that stays in the red bag as well. Then in the red bag I also have a folder or wallet that's got uh, speech notes in it, documents, anything else that I might need to take with me, so an agenda, um, any information, leaflets, business cards, anything else that I might need or business flyers, anything else I might need that will go in the wallet in the bag. I also have a normal notebook that I keep in there just in case as well. 
and then we have a little white pot that we use as a temporary sharp spin that also stays in the orange rucksack so that's that's the the small orange rucksack that comes everywhere with us wherever we go then we have the larger red bag and this has much more uh, contents in it so you open the middle section up and you will have a pack full of IV supplies to top up the ones we have in the orange bag we will have one bag that keeps my ileostomy supplies in it so that will have stoma base plates that have been cut by us already to ensure that we can change it on the go if need be and then the bags that go onto the base plate so I use two piece bags so the base plate and the bag itself are separate so we put the base plate on and then we clip the bag onto the base plate so you can change the bag independently of the base plate itself then that's one bag that bag will also have other bits in it as needed then I have another um, bag full of stoma uh, supplies so one bag is all my ileostomy supplies the other bag is all my urostomy supplies so that again will be pre-cut by us base plates I don't get the, cut, the base plates cut by the company we cut them ourselves so pre-cut buy us base plates and the bags and any other things we need in those supplies we then have inco sheets emptying stuff air freshener we have gloves we have um, nappy sacks in the side pocket we've got the stoma template design that we cut my base plates to so those stay in there with a pair of stoma cutting scissors that are specially curved and a pen there might be a few different stoma base plate sizes because sometimes my stoma changes size quite a lot we then have uh, adhesive remover spray in one of the pockets that helps us take my base plates off and remove any residue we also have cavillon or barrier spray that um, we put on my over my stomas or around my stomas before we stick the base plates down and for my ileostomy stoma we have stoma paste which we put around the stoma to help the bag stick and then we have another pocket that has some pseudo cream in it some uh, special tape that we can use to tape up my dressing or tape around my stoma or to tape up anything else if we need it in the bag we also keep spare um, Hickman dressings to change my Hickman dressing should it need changing while we're out and about and other products as needed and then on top of that we might have another bag with other supplies in it but generally we try to fit all of the supplies into those bags so those are what I need to go out and about for a day you know a day out for a meeting for an event or a conference so I have the rucksack on the back of my wheelchair for my TPN feed I have my medication pouch the little pencil case that I use I've got the smaller medical bag which is a rucksack and then the bigger paramedics bag those are all the things I have to take with me on a day out I hope this has been useful and interesting Emma I hope it answers a lot of your questions and I hope other people will find it as interesting as you will and thank you for watching please hit the thumbs up video if you found this useful or interesting put any comments below if you've got any questions or want to share your experience and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope today's been a good day.